In this video, we are going to see how to apply node selectors for a pod. So how to choose a node, how to choose one of the nodes in the list of nodes in the cluster for the pod so that it can run on it. So let's look at the sample deployment manifest that we have got for this exercise. So this is the manifest. So most of it is going to be same. There is no difference in this deployment. So if you know how deployments work, this should be, there shouldn't be anything new in this manifest. And if we create this deployment, let's go ahead and create this deployment. The, all the parts in the deployment should get uniformly distributed on the available nodes. So if you put get parts hyphen O wide, you should be able to see the parts and the nodes on which they are currently launched. So here we see three different nodes. On all the nodes, parts are getting launched. So we can also confirm this by viewing the list of nodes. So we have got, if you look at the suffix mtzf, prg4, and z4, uh, z4xc, you have got all of them in the list here of the, of, the, of the previous command that we executed. So which means that the deployment has no problem in getting executed and the pods do not have any issues in getting launched on any of these nodes. Let's say we want to prefer one node for all the pods or for maybe one or two pods. Since this is the deployment, all the ports are gonna be affected equally. Let's say we want to have a pod or group of pods in one pod, we can label them. This is where the concept of node selector would come into picture. Let's say we have to label the first pod. So I would say cube cuttle label node and I'll copy paste the first node name. And after that, Oh, I, I think I typed it twice. So cube cuttle label node. So I'm pasting the first node's name followed by whatever label key value pair that I want. So I can give something like this, label key to keep it simple and colon label value. You can give anything you want. So in production, you would normally use some meaningful names, but here just for the illustration purpose, I'm just gonna give label key, which is the key of the label and label value, which is the value of that label. So one label key value pair is added here. So now the node has one label. It has got one label, which is nothing but label key is equal to label value. Now let's say if we want all of these ports, all of these ports to schedule only on this particular node, we would first of all delete the existing deployment. I can delete all of them by giving the hyphen hyphen all flag. So all the deployments are got deleted, but anyway, there's only one as of now in this cluster. Let me get into the file, the manifest file again, and I'm going to add a new section called node selector, which is the agenda of this video the topic of this video. Node selector is a section and under the node selector section, I'm going to call any label key value pair. We already know what we gave in, in the node. So we can call the same label key value pair here. So we gave label key colon label value. This is what we gave. So this key here, we are not giving equal to, we would be giving colon because this is a YAML file. We would only be giving colon for dictionaries to assign anything. So label key colon label value does it. Let's get out of this file by saving it. And now let's try to create the deployment. The deployment is created right now. And let's check the pods as usual and also give the wide format to see the node in which it is getting executed as of now. Ending state, only one pod seems to be running. Let's try to check the status of one of the other pod. Cube cuttle, and describe pod followed by the pod name. So let's see why it is still in pending. Okay, so 
that one node seems to have insufficient CPU and this is the reason why that node is not able to take more load. It is not able to schedule more number of pods. To use the second node and I'm going to label it now. Kubectl label node followed by the node's name and I'm going to give the same label key as the key and equal to operator label value. So now this node, the second node is also having the same label key value pair. So this is also labeled. Now let's see if there is any change. Okay, the containers seem to be creating. We have got uh, one more running container. We, are, we have got uh, four more running containers. Yeah, five more. One, yeah, all of them are running now. So let's try to give the cube gutter get pod hyphen o wide to see are the nodes where they are running as of now. And we will also verify this information with the get nodes command so that we know which pods are there, which nodes are there. So empty ZF PRG4 is what we gave. Z4XE we did not label, so this is not present in the get pods output. We can also confirm that by giving get for the output wide and then try to grep Z4XC and we shouldn't be able to see anything. This is because we don't label it. The first node was not having sufficient CPU to deploy or to launch all the ports and that is why we had to label the second port, I mean second node. So that's how we covered the concept of uh, node selector. Hope it was kind of useful to you and we thank you as usual for watching this.